can't nobody do me like Jesus. He's my friend. Come on, help me. Can't nobody help do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like Lord. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. He's my friend. He picked me up and he turned me around. Yes, he picked me up and he turned me around. He picked me up and he turned me around. He's my friend. I tell you, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like Lord. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. He's my friend. One day he healed my body and he told me to run on. Oh, he healed my body and he told me to run on. Oh, healed my body and he told me to run on. Oh, he's my friend. I tell you, can't nobody. Jesus, can't nobody do me like Lord, can't nobody do me like Jesus, he's my friend. Amen. Amen. Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say the Lord is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowl and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall trust. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand to right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high of thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon, you shall trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. And now, did God cover this service with the precious blood of Jesus? And give us your Holy Spirit that we may lift up the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Uh, we'd like you to turn your hymnals to page number 79. At last and did my Savior bleed, and did my sovereign die. Would he devote that sacred for such a worm as I? Well, it was at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burdens of my heart, they rolled away. It was there by faith that I received my sight, and now I am happy. All the day. Verse 2. Was it for Christ that I had done? He rolled upon the tree. Amazing his tea grace unknown and love. Beyond degree, well, it's a 
God, we give you thanks, we give you glory, give you honor. Oh God, where would we be without you, Lord? Oh Jesus, you are awesome. Yes. You are faithful. Mm -hmm. You can never fail. Even when we fail, Lord, you yes. are always there with Thank us. You, Lord. Almighty God, thanks for the assurance mm -hmm. that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Mighty God, we thank you for life. Life abundantly, mighty God. And even in the midst of this pandemic and all that's happening, oh God, when you hear the testimony of your goodness and your grace, mm -hmm. oh God, how sweet it is to trust in yes, you, mighty thank God. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord, yes. for the hope that you have placed in us, mighty God. Mm -hmm. That, Lord God, we know that you are here with us, mm -hmm. mighty God. Lord Jesus, we give you thanks for seeing another day. Another day, Lord God, to come into your presence and lift you up and give you all the glory and all the honor that you deserve, yes, mighty Lord. God. Lord Jesus, we give you all the glory. And as I say, as for me and my house, we will praise you. As long as I have breath, mighty God, we will praise you, mighty God. Lord Jesus, we give you thanks. Thanks for our pastor, Pastor Yarbrough, yes, and his Lord. family, mighty Thank God. 
Thanks for journey mercy. You bring them out here safely, mighty God. Yes. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for the elders, for all the workers in this house, mighty yes. God, who continue to let this praise continue every Sunday, mighty God. Lord Jesus, we continue to give you praise, give you thanks for the families, give you thanks for every one of us pr present here this morning, yes. mighty God. Lord Jesus, we lift up our family before you, Lord. And we know, God, if it wasn't for you, mighty God, the enemy would just sweep us up. But God, you cover us with your unfailing grace and mercy. Lord Jesus, we give you thanks. We thank you for the speaker this morning. And God, as we anticipate his, his blessing, as he speaks through you, mighty God, Lord Jesus, give him the grace, give him the mercy to speak as an oracle of you. Lord Jesus, we bless you, we honor you, and we give you all the glory in no other name but the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. 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 When this life is over, I'm gonna come no more. Say that I can talk to Jesus over on that other show. Soon I know my work will be done. I got to hear my Savior say, Well done. That way I'll be satisfied.
He the glory. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When I woke up early this morning, my heart was beating right on the time. It's for you. Thank you. Thank you. I said, Lord, thank you, Lord. I truly yes. want to thank you yes. Yes. for opening up these eyes of mine. And then I went over to my window. And while looking through the shade, once again I had to tell him, thank you, Lord, for letting me see another day. Now everybody ought to praise his name. Be thankful and praise his name. Now everybody ought to praise his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if we're robbing to say thank you, you can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, when I woke up early this morning, my heart was beating right on time. I said, Lord, I truly want to thank you, yeah, for opening up these eyes of mine. And when I went over to my window, and while looking through the shade, once again I had to tell him, you, Lord, for let me see another day. Mm -hmm. Now the sun was bright and shining. The wind was blowing not too strong. But in a treetop just a few feet away was a robin singing a song. I don't know what he was singing, but pretty soon he was on his way. Verse 15. 
and you will see what, what he said there. And he said unto them, with desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you Amen. before I suffer. Amen. 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 So we all have, uh, you may be seated. Amen. Mm -hmm. We all have desires. Yes. Some are good I'm okay. and some are negative. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 You don't have to say amen if you don't want to. Amen. <laughs> but I mean, I've, I've been around long enough to know that that's amen. true. Amen. 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 I want, I want to use a, my sermon will be short, I guess, but I want to use uh, a few theological words, uh, doctrine, it deal with the 18 articles of faith, and uh, in order to re be able to know and to understand them, you have to come to Bible study uh, and uh, ask the deacons some questions. <laughs> Amen. 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 So there's th three three words I want to uh, raise the issue with to today is number one is theology the theology t-a-c-o-l-o-g-y theology theology is the study of the nature of God and religious truth Boy, and by an organized religious community concerning God and man's relationship to God. Amen. What is your, your relationship to God? Do you really have a good relationship to God uh, where you know that if you are in need, that you can call upon him and he will answer you. Amen. Amen. And, and give you what you in, stand in, in, in need of. So, it's by an organized religious community concerning God, I said, in his relationship to man. So we praise God this morning for his love, his kindness, Amen. and his tender mercy. Amen. The, the other one is called providence. Now that's, that's a, a word that you don't hear uh, every day or every Sunday. But if you, if you will look up that word and then, I guess, and you also wonder whether or not it's in the Bible. So, if you want to see that word in the Bible, look at Acts 24 and 2. And, and you will be able to see the word providence. So, providence, which is a care and preparation beforehand, so you you don't know that that God knew you before you were born. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So um, I'll, get, I'll get to that. Amen. So, uh, beforehand, divine direction is the key 
to history and the working of providence. In our study of the attributes, see, man desires to know the nature of God. And so what they have done is brought about what is called attributes. And they split God down the center yes, yes. and put on one side the natural attributes and on the other side they put the moral attributes. Amen. Now, what I'm saying here, the, the deacons know about it because when, when they have an ordination, <laughs> they ask some questions. Amen. Right. Amen. And now, now you, you are a part of the moral attributes, Amen. but you are not a part of the natural attributes. Amen. Because the natural attributes has to do with a word it's called omniscient which means the knowledge of God yes. and the second was omnipotence mm -hmm. which is the power of God Amen. you have some power but you are limited in your power God is not limited in his power. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'm trying to make it plain so you can understand. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you, so in our study of the attributes of God, we saw that he is all wise, all powerful, and that he that uh, in these two aspects uh, that I've just shared with you, as well as others, God is infinite, mm. eternal, mm -hmm. oh, yes. and unchangeable. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. his name. Amen. Now, the third and the last thought is is the the agony of of the garden and then you know where you read it where Jesus went into the garden and he prayed yes. and uh, drops of sweat like blood and etc you amen you read that, that I mean when you, if you study the Bible amen so here uh, Judas betrayed him with a kiss. Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, yes. Here, preparing for the Passover, the preparation that was made for Christ eating the Passover with his disciples. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Up on the very day of unleavened bread yes. when the Passover must be killed according to the law. So we look at verses 7 and 8 and he he sent Peter and John to prepare the Passover. He directed them those whom he had employed and told them where to go. Amen. And he said, go into the city where ye, when you enter into the city, there shall you see a man meeting you, bearing a pitcher of water. Amen. Follow him into the house where he enters, he directed them, he is 
teaching them to depend upon providence. Amen. So we, we ask the question, what is providence? Yes, Lord. And it says, it is one of the most commonly held and most vehemently debated beliefs in ancient and modern time. Uh, there's another statement for providence is it is God's will of heaven Amen. Amen. and divinity that shapes our destination. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, you, you don't understand that I guess but did you get up some morning and uh, you decided to do something, but it, it did not turn up <laughs> the way you planned it. It, it, it. it might be that you had planned to do something that was harmful to someone and, and God entered into your stuff. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 So true. We say there's an element uh, and purposeful ordering of all events in history. Amen. Nothing happens by chance. Amen. That's right, man. Amen. That's right. Amen. So not always. So we do not always understand it because it is not in the human's mind. Amen. There is a divine or cosmic plan for the universe. A reason for everything. God knows, amen, about it. Every particle of life is involved in providence. Yes. 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 Now, if you want to know how God knows and knew about you before you were born, yes. you need to look at Psalm 139 and 16. Where David said that thine eyes did see my substance, yet being in unform and in thy book, all my members were written, which in continuance were fashioned. When as yet there was none of them. Amen. So, I mean, that, that's a, a heavy statement. Amen. Amen. So look at John 13 and 27. It shared with us the tragedy of Judas Iscariot. And after the south, Satan entered into him. Then said Jesus unto him, that thou didst quickly, Satan, who was the minister of music in heaven. Amen. Yes, yeah, that's right. Amen. So, so that gives us to know and to understand that as much as it is a church on the earth, there is also a church in heaven. Amen. 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 So God was having church before Genesis 1 and 1. Amen. 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 
And so Judas has always desired to usurp the power of God. Amen. And so we can look in Isaiah 14 and 12 and ask the question, it says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nation? For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into the heavens, I will ex Exalt myself, my throne above the stars of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the side of the north. I will ascend above the highest of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Amen. And so now, Revelation 12 and 7 says, mm -hmm. there was law in heaven. Right. Well, hello. Hallelujah. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon prevail not, That's right. neither was there a place found any more in heaven. Amen. So I think that I have bothered you long enough. Amen. Amen. So Amen. I'm going to just share with you from Psalms 121 that says, I will lift up mine eyes to the hills where from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall never neither slumber nor sleep. That's right, that's right. The Lord is thy keeper. Uh -huh. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. Amen. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul the Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in. Yeah. So I'm so glad this morning that he is my light and he is my salvation. Yeah. Come on, help me here and have the Lord. Uh, uh, in my life and my salvation, yeah. whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Uh, whom shall I be afraid? Uh, when the, my enemies and my the wicked come uh, upon me to eat up my flesh, uh, they stumble and fail. And Lord, hold your encamp round about me. Uh, in this, will I be confident that one thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I might dwell in the house of the Lord. Oh, of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple for in the time of, of trouble uh, he will hide right there for in his pavilion now in the secret of his tabernacle or shall he hide me well, I'm so glad this morning uh, that I know Amen. 
unless you're standing, I will open the doors of the church. Jesus said, come unto me, all you that labor and heavy laden, I will give you rest. Take my yoke and learn about me, for I make a lowly heart, and there you shall find rest unto your soul. If there's this one this morning who knows not the Lord and the pardon of his sin, we invite you to come. Amen. Give your heart to the Lord. God is good. The musician know the song or not, yeah. but uh, it, it said, "Walk with me, Lord." Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Walk with me. Yeah. Walk with me. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, I'm on my pilgrim journey. Yeah. I want Jesus. Yeah. Uh, I want Jesus uh, to walk with me. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Oh, Walk with me. 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 yourself. 
I love the way you praise God. You came in the door praising God about a month ago. You didn't stop since. And it's contagious. And um, so I'm really thanking God for you. And really getting to know you in our church family. Getting to know you and you being a part of this. I believe you got a lot to offer. I see a lot of good things in you. You got a lot of wisdom. A lot of good experience. And that's what's needed. Particularly as a church mother. For the things that you see Satan doing nowadays running rampant in our community and through churches and particularly through our black uh, community and things like that. It needs more people like you. And so I thank God for sending you this way and this branch of Zion and being a part of what we're doing uh, as far as fulfilling the Great Commission and putting forth the gospel of the kingdom. Amen? Amen. And there will be plenty of things for you and I really will be looking forward to um, have you be a part of this mission. Amen? Amen. Amen. So let's greet sisters of pray by saying amen. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you so much. At this time, we're going to have Sister Mary Washington, who does poetry, kingdom poetry, and she's going to come with a very fitting uh, poem at this time. And then after that, we're going to go right into our communion service very briefly that we have on the third Sunday. Sister Mary, you can come on. And um, we're going to partake of this table. And then we're going to come together and silently pray before the Lord and make sure that our hearts are cleansed Amen. and pure before the Lord in confession before we partake of this table. Amen? Amen. Amen. Thank God for a great message today Amen. once again. Amen. And thank God for uh, using Pastor Smith with us. Amen. Amen. So, Sister Mary. Good morning, church, pastor, and all the visitors, and um, however things are in God. I'm going to read to you the pastor of the familiar ages. In the beginning was the word, and the word was God. From the beginning to the end, God's word is what we can depend through thick and thin. I plead the blood of Jesus and the, and the body of Jesus through the storm and through the rain with prosperity and wisdom to gain. Prayer changes things as you pray. God give us another day. We believe that you are the way, the truth, and the light. Satan is the prince of darkness that attacks your mind, body, and soul with his demons, lying, hating, killing, and scheming with unwise and wicked ways that will lead you astray. Traveling through life, I've been so many places. I found a great invitation to stop and take a rest. I found a great treasury now that I will do my best to preach the word and the gospel of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. In the name of Jesus, I say these words. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Sister Mary. She wrote that on the spur of the moment. Yeah. Wow. On a short notice with Pastor Smith in mind. Good. God bless Amen. Her to poetry yeah. in that Amen. manner. And you'll be hearing from her. Uh, quite a bit. Amen. 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 At this time, very briefly, we're going to go into our communion service. But first, we're going to come together in prayer. You don't have to do it out loud. Just do it right in your heart uh, to the Lord and confess anything that might hinder you from partaking of this table uh, worthily. Uh, any uh, known sin or unknown sin that you may have, just confess that before the Lord in private and uh, be cleansed before you come and partake of the bread and the wine. Amen. Amen. So let us pray silently. And then we'll go on from there. And Father, certainly we do thank you for cleansing us, for keeping us. We ask for forgiveness of our sin. We pray, Lord, that you would search the depths of our heart. Examine our souls like only you can do. And Father, I ask that you will continue to just order our steps right now. Give us the peace that surpasses all understanding that can only come through a relationship with you through your Son, Jesus Christ. I ask, Lord, for the power of your Holy Spirit to keep us and to lead us and to guide us. I ask, Lord, that if we confess our sins, we know, Lord, you're faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So, Father, right now we submit everything to you, body, soul, and spirit that we may use by you for your glory. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen.
cup represents the body and the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself on Calvary one time for the remission of sins. We're going to partake all together. We're going to ask that when you get it, you just hold it, and then I'll give instruction from there as to partaking of the bread and of the wine. We'll just peel the top part back and then the second part back when we're ready, and we'll partake all together. Deacon Hawkins is going to hold the plate, and uh, you all will be escorted around in all. Amen. <clears throat> what can wash up? With my sins, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Tell me what can make me whole again. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Singing, oh, precious is that Lord that made Wider than, Wider than snow, snow. there is no other. Fine, I know. I know. I know. Oh, nothing but the blood of Jesus. This is all my hope and peace. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. <laughs>
and what you have to say now. Amen. 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 The blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that was given for the remission of our sins. Drink it all. You, Father, we certainly do thank you for the body and the blood of our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. We thank you for our sins being forgiven. We thank you that we can be cleansed by your blood. We thank you, Lord, that based on the finished work of Jesus on the cross, based on our faith in you, and based on our repentance, Father, we can stand justified before you and receive coverage totally and fully for eternity. Yes. We thank you for your grace and your mercy, dear Lord. <coughs> Father, we thank you for redemption right now. Thank you. We thank you for reconciliation mm -hmm. and restoration yes. and healing and deliverance and salvation. We thank you, Lord, for the sanctification that only your Holy Spirit can do. We thank you for keeping us, Father, in your care. Yes. We thank you for sealing us to the day of redemption. We thank you, Father, for the opportunity and the privilege to be able to persevere through these troubling times. Thank you. We thank you, Father, for the privilege of being in your kingdom. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the gift of your kindness, yes. your grace and your mercy, and more importantly, your love. Yes. We thank you, Father, for being a hedge of protection around us. Yes. We thank you for bonding us together in the spirit of love yes. by your Holy Spirit yes. that keeps us. Mm -hmm. We thank you for the strength and the power and your spirit to fulfill the great commission. We thank you, Father, for the gospel of your kingdom, Amen. the death, the resurrection, the return of Jesus Christ and yes. the position of kingdom citizens, Father, mm -hmm. that we are based on what you've done for us. Yes. Lord, we praise you, we glorify you. you. And Lord, we want to honor you in our lives. Amen. Give us wisdom to be good stewards over the things you've blessed us with. Yes. Help us, dear Lord, to take what we've taken in and put it into others, Lord, who are dying and who need spiritual nourishment yes. and who are losing hope and those who have lost hope. I pray, Lord, that we will be lights that shine and sharp to the earth, dear Lord. Help us to do the things that you've called us to do with the time that you've given us. Amen. Thank you, dear Father. We repent for drifting away. Yes. We repent for not believing in you and trusting in you totally. Father, we cast all our cares upon you right now, Lord, because we know you care for us. Yes, we thank you, Father, for being in our midst. We thank you for your precious Holy Spirit. I thank you for your people, dear Lord. Yes. And I ask, Lord, that you will continue to lead and guide us, Lord, like only you can. Yes. Father, although we're in the midst of troubling times, and although we're headed to reward a lot of tribulation, Father, I ask, Lord, that you would keep our eyes focused on your kingdom, yes, focused on your word. Help us to stand on your word, dear Lord, and not compromise at all. We pray, Lord, that we would not set up idols in our lives. We pray, Lord, that you would purge our hearts of anything that tries to compete with your position in our lives. Mm -hmm. We ask, Lord, that you would help us do what it takes, Lord, according to your permissive will to keep us in your care. Yes. And help us to realize that you're always there yes. and that nothing else matters but you. We seek your kingdom first and your righteousness, and we know that everything else will be added unto us. Purge us, dear Lord, from fear and anxiety. Amen. We know Jesus, Amen. who is the bread of life, who owns all, who is in control of all, the King of kings and Lord of lords, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We give you all glory and honor and praise. Jesus is king. Amen. 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 I'm going to give the benediction, and then the deacon's going to take charge from there. If you hang for <coughs> just one moment, uh, won't hold you real long. Amen. Let's look to the Lord and be dismissed. Mm -hmm. Now may the God of all comfort and grace establish your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus, both now and forevermore, until we meet again. In Jesus' name, Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen